What up everybody? Happy New Year, it's Norman Woods. I hope everybody had nice holidays and is ready for a better 2021. I got my collage hoodie on right here. So first order of business is I want to let you guys know you can go to www.collageskateboards.com, pick up a snake hoodie, pick up one of the few decks we have left, pick up some of our t-shirts, some of our totes, anything like that to show some support for my brand collage skateboards. Try to do big things in 2021 and I appreciate all the support. Let me quickly plug my Patreon as well. I do have a few subscribers up there and I want to thank you guys so much. So this is part two of my 50-50 series. In the first video, we went over how to 50-50 curbs and ledges, anything like that. And as promised, today I'm going to teach you how to 50-50 rails, specifically flat bars, but this is going to basically be applicable to handrails as well. Let's do it. So before you get started 50-50 in any type of rail, let's make sure that you can grind a curb and a ledge first. And since this is a 50-50, I'm gonna recommend that you can do it about every try. There's gonna be some slip ups of course. Sometimes you might try to grind something that's not waxed well enough, get caught off guard, that's okay. But under optimal conditions, you should be able to grind a curb or a ledge the same height as whatever you're trying to grind rail wise every try and if you're having trouble with that check out my first 50 50 video the first thing for 50 50 in rails that usually scares us off is the balance issue right and so the first tip that i'm going to give you for your 50 50s is that when you're grinding a rail you don't want to think of it as a rail you want to think of it as the edge of some type of ledge right because if you're thinking of the obstacle like a balance beam you're kind of setting yourself up for failure right away and we want to get rid of that mindset so a good thing that i do before i try to grind any reel is i'll go do some grinds on curbs get used to standing straight over the top and then i'll get over to my ledge and to my rail i'm sorry and I'll try to envision that the rail is just the edge of a curb or a ledge. So once you've done that, you're confident, you're ready. There's a couple things that we're going to go over today. Got a bar right here. And this is a round bar. On a round bar, you kind of have more freedom to move your trucks, right? There are different ways that you can land. For instance, if you land in the middle of a square bar, more than likely you're not going to be able to keep your balance because you need to be perfectly on top and as human beings we're constantly moving so you're going to tip over a lot easier when your weight shifts to one side whereas if you land in the center of a round bar you're able to shift your weight and get into one of the two locks that you want for grinding when i'm doing a front side 50 50 right so me being goofy footed, that means I'm gonna be standing this way to the rail. I tend to use the heel lock, right? What the heel lock is, is I'm gonna ollie and I'm going to get onto the rail with my heel edge wheels touching the rail and I'm gonna be balancing on that portion of the trucks, right? And this works best for me for front side grinds. Some people use the cross lock even for front side grinds, but I've found that more difficult. The other lock that we go over is called the cross lock. So backside 50 50s, I tend to use the cross lock. And what that is for me is I'm gonna have my back truck on that heel edge side and I'm gonna have my front truck toe edge. It's gonna create a counterbalance. So for the front foot, I'm gonna have the weight over the toes of my front foot, and I'm gonna have the weight over the heels of my back foot, and I'm gonna use that counterbalance to help me grind. Now, there are people who cross lock for their front side 50 50s, and there's people who get onto back side 50 50s with the heel lock and ride it out. It's happened to me before. You're going for a cross lock backside, doesn't work out, you land on the, you land on the heel lock, and you just ride it out. It's definitely possible. But uh, for me, those are the two ways that it works out best. 
Now you're thinking cross lock, heel lock. Great, but how do I get onto these things? And how do I practice these safely so that I'm not on an actual rail and worried about eating it? And the solution that I have is the one that I used, and that's gonna be parking blocks. These guys. So most of us live somewhere where there are parking blocks. And these are great because they're low to the ground like a curb. They have a smaller surface area that your truck fits on. For me, skating an 8.5 inch deck, if this is only gonna take up about a third of my deck space, you know? So this is the perfect thing to practice your grinds on. Um, basically what you wanna do is when you're starting out, you don't want to try to actually grind. You want to get used to the balance aspect. So I'm going to set up the tripod here and just show you how I go through, went through the cross lock, learning how to cross lock. We got a parking block here. So I'm set up so that you can kind of see where my trucks are. This is as low as I could get. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to roll slowly as you possibly can and we're gonna ollie up onto the parking block. We're gonna start off with the front side. So I'm gonna ollie up, heel lock, and just practice balancing. Now I'm gonna do the backside 50-50 and Similar thing, we're just gonna roll up. We're gonna roll up kind of slow. We're gonna hop on, get into that cross lock and just try to hold that position as long as we can. You got your cross lock and you got your heel locks down. And now you want to actually try to take it to a flat bar. Let me say one thing, the parking block is going to feel more like a square bar, but it will definitely help you out for round bars. So we're going to go over to a flat bar in the skate park. And this is a round one and I'm going to capture some grinds. Alright, so you can tell I'm super sweaty, but uh, here's future me going over the rail things. So, when you're 50-50 in the flat bar, be a little bit scary at first, you know? Because uh, you're going to have to get over it, and you're going to have to kind of stand over the top of it. I tend to use my shoulders to guide me where to grind up over the rail. Just like the other tutorials, your body follows your shoulders. So keeping your shoulders parallel to your board is gonna be key. As Soon as you get onto that rail, you're gonna keep your shoulders parallel to the rail. And I tend to crouch and try to lock up my muscles. So my core muscles, my quads, and my biceps, I tend to engage them when I'm trying to balance. So you're gonna ollie, you're gonna land in whichever position you're going for, whether it's the cross lock or whether it's the heel lock. And then you're gonna hold that. And to facilitate holding and keeping your balance, you're gonna lock up your quads, you're gonna lock up your core, and you're gonna lock up your biceps. Now, where it gets difficult with the flat bar is that you've gotta actually pop off of it like you do a ledge. As long as you've held your balance properly, you should be all right. And this is one area where handrails and flat bars are gonna differ. Because when you skate a handrail, uh, you're not going to have to worry as much about coming out. As long as you keep your balance properly, you'll be all right. And it's much of the same. You're, for the handrail, 
you're going to, excuse me, you're gonna ollie onto the rail. You're gonna keep your shoulders parallel to the rail and whichever one you're going for, whether it's that cross lock or that heel lock, once you feel your board hit the rail, you're gonna wanna hold. So you're gonna wanna engage your core, engage your quads, engage your biceps. If once you have enough balance and you're comfortable enough, you can pop off of rails, but it's not necessary as long as you hold your position. And in the beginning, you're not going to be able to pop off. So just hold your balance. And when you're anticipating coming off, hold it even more. Don't allow your board to dip because a lot of the time when you're learning to grind handrails, when you come off at the end, your board's going to dip down. So you want to fight the dipping down of the board. Uh, and this takes trial and error because where your feet land is going to vary from person to person. Obviously, it's ideal for you to land with your tail, your back foot on the tail. But in the beginning, you're going to take it how you get it. The one thing you beginners are going to have in your favor is that you're always going to be smaller. So if you watch the videos that I'm going to use to reference here, I'm actually ollieing more than six inches above the rail and landing on it, which that means two things. That means I have less space to grind which makes the balancing more difficult. It also means I'm landing on the rail with more force. It's also going to make it more difficult. So you beginners are going to be lucky there because you're not going to be ollieing as high. Um, I think that that is about it. I would say before you move to a handrail, get really comfortable with those flat bars. And much like the tip that I had with the parking block, if you can go to the handrail and kind of ollie up and just hold there for, for the longer, the better. It's gonna, it's gonna help you out quite a bit. Um, another tip that I have is learn feebles first. I learned feebles before I learned 50-50s on flat bars. It's just a much easier trick to balance and hold, you know? So you learn your feebles and then once you're able to hold that feeble, you feel comfortable, move up to 50-50s. Um, Keeping your knees bent is gonna be extremely important for this one. Like, if you're standing up stiff when you land on the rail, as soon as you lose your balance, you're gonna flip over. So you wanna remain as crouched as possible. Um, and that is about it. So if this video helped out, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Collage Skateboards, my brand, www.collageskateboards.com. And Happy New Year again, everybody. Let's hope for a better 2021.